Today we're looking at Lelantis transactions on Firo. So these are currently available on the testnet. We can look at them now by downloading the latest release of the Firo wallet. So first thing you want to do, I'm still on the Zcoin wallet, so I'm going to back up my wallet. The next step is to download the latest release of the Firo wallet. So I'll go to firo.org. Get Firo, get the wallet, and get the Qt wallet for Mac OS. All right, and then just open and install that. We're going to be looking at the Lantis transactions on the testnet. Before we do that, we need to open up the wallet on the basic mainnet mode just so that it can rename the old Zcoin files to Firo. So, first, I'll just find it in my applications folder. and open it up. And now I don't need to wait for this to sync. When it opened up, it did all that background work. So I can just quit now. And then I'm going to open up terminal. So in order to open it on testnet, first I have to navigate to my well to the Firo app. So I'll go directory up a couple directories okay and now I'll go into Firo Qt dot app and then I'll go into contents and Mac OS and now I've got this Firo Qt here I'm gonna type dot slash Firo Qt and then add testnet this is going to open it up, point it at the testnet rather than the mainnet. Okay, so the first time you open it, it'll take a minute to sync the full blockchain. Again, it's just the testnet, so it won't take too long. So now my wallet is updated and open. And I can see in the overview here my private balance and my transparent balance. So now by default, the Firo wallet, when you receive any Firo transaction, um, it's going to automatically anonymize it and make it a Lelantis transaction. So let's see what that looks like. If we go over here to receive, um, let's just call this um, test receive, and I will request a payment, and I'll use this. And now it asks me, you have incoming transactions, do you want to anonymize? All right, so I see the option here, and I also see the option here I'll say anonymize, and there we go. All right, so it went from my pending transparent into pending private, and the little transaction fee was also subtracted. Now if I go over to send, uh, I can see that I've increased my private balance, and I can flip between the private and transparent balance just over here. If we look at the explorer for that transaction, so let's look at, well, first let's look at the uh, receiving transaction. I see this is the transaction where I received the transparent, so this is the original transparent transaction, and then when I clicked auto anonymize, this was converted into a Lelantis Mint, right? So this address does appear in the Explorer, but it's not connected to anything else. If I click on this Lelantis Mint, it's going to link me to every other Lelantis transaction on the blockchain. So now let's look at sending. I'm going to use my private balance. I'll paste in an address here. We'll go send. Let's say uh, five Firo. And there we go. And we can check this out on the Explorer as well. Let's search by the transaction here. Here's that transaction, and this just shows a Lelantis split sent, and then the receiving address as an output. All right, and again, this links back to every other Lelantis transaction, and I can't even see the amount. It's a hidden amount, and there's this extra output here, so we don't even know that five was the total input.
So there's one more feature to cover, and that is manually anonymizing Firo. So if we go into preferences here, you see that by default we have enable auto anonymize, and that's that window popping up here. So we can untick that, and then we can tick enable manual, and then I get this Lelantis tab. And this is going to allow me to just choose some Firo and make it anonymous. Here, let's create another message called test transparent receive. I'll request payment. Okay, so now I see the notification up here, but I won't see the auto anonymize box. And this will just go to my pending transparent balance. So if we want to check out this transaction, So now you can see there is a one Faro uh, record on the Explorer to my address. But I still have the option of going to Lelantis and anonymizing it. So now I have my one Faro. I'll just hit anonymize. OK, we need to make it a little bit less to account for the fees. And there I go. Now it goes from pending transparent back to pending private. And we can follow this address now, and it'll show a transaction to Lelantis Mint. So that is how you can receive and send Firo privately using Lelantis.